If you're like me, as a filmmaker you're constantly wanting to learn, try new things and capture everything around you as it unfolds. When travelling, going on holiday or a day out, it can be exciting to capture these experiences and make a video from them, but just as laborious to carry around the equipment and make that important decision about what equipment to take. Enter the DJI Osmo Pocket. The Pocket is an absolute powerhouse. It films sharp 4K video in up to 60 frames per second, which even my Sony a7 III doesn't do. It has a gimbal built into it for stable footage and all of this in a package that fits in your pocket. It takes everything you'd want to do with your professional camera. Gimbal shots, time lapses, motion lapses, panoramas, long exposure photos and slow motion and puts them into this small package and it does all of them pretty well. Manufacturers are now offering countless accessories for the pocket to add things such as lights, sound gear, ND filters, selfie sticks and various cases to the pocket, making it even more versatile. Since its release, updates have added new features such as a flat picture profile, manual exposure straight from the device and improvements in the sound and autofocus. The Osmo Pocket is minimal filmmaking at its best. It's not quite the perfect camera though. The fixed focal length can be annoying at times and a Mavic Zoom like dual focal length would have been better. The autofocus is not great and a tiny screen can make it difficult to see what's in focus. But in fairness, you can connect it to your phone with the powerful DJI Mimo app for a better user experience. It's also not the best if you have big hands and need to operate the small screen. It can be fiddly sometimes. And finally, the lack of mounts built in means you need the accessories like the tripod adapter, the hot shoe adapters, etc. if you want to add more functionality, which makes it a bit less pocketable. In summary then, what is the DJI Osmo Pocket and who is it for? It's a camera for amateur filmmakers who want to experiment with ND filters, time lapses, motion lapses, 4K video and gimbal work without spending thousands on equipment. It's for professional videographers who want to capture their lives but don't want to carry around all their equipment. It brings back the fun in videography, allows you to focus on living your life and use less time deciding what equipment to bring out, changing lenses and balancing gimbals whilst travelling. It's not for professional corporate shoots, but that's not a hard and fast rule. I've used it for time lapses that have made it into corporate films and for reaction shots at weddings and nobody has noticed the difference. So used in the correct way, it can be used for paid work. This is a first generation camera and it's not perfect, but no matter who you are, if you're a filmmaker, then this camera is worth taking a look at. I've been Chris Bice. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and if you loved it, then subscribe down below for more content like this. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.